Today I'm going to show you a few tips on how to correctly tie a horse to keep him safe while you're gone and to make sure he's there when you return. The first thing to think about is that you want to tie your horse about three and a half or four feet off the ground and you want to tie him with about two and a half to three feet of rope between your tree or whatever you're tying him to and the halter. This will prevent him from getting a foot over the rope while you're gone and ending up in a very uncomfortable and somewhat unsafe position. Okay, so next, once you've found your four and a half, uh, three and a half or four foot height, put your rope around the tree. And if it's a slick tree that your rope can slide down, put it around again so you've got a wrap. Okay? Then you're going to take your working end and turn a loop into it, like that. Make sure that your working end is on the outside of the loop not on the inside. This is incorrect. This is correct. It needs to circle the rope that goes to his head. Okay, then you pull your working end back through your loop and you have a slip knot. If you snug that down to your tree, he's tied safely and reliably. Now, what if he gets bored while you're gone and starts munching on the end of this rope and nibbles and pulls on it until he unties himself? He can head back to camp, right? Well, once again, tie your loop. And then, rather than just leaving it hanging, put your working end back through the loop like that. Then if he gets bored and starts pulling on that, he can't untie himself. So, practice before you go on your hunt or your trip and make sure that you can tie that reliably and your guide is going to be impressed when you get there.